Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 99 of Let's Platinum Final Fantasy VII. Alright, let's talk to everyone before we go. That Bugenhagen guy, he was a weird old dude. He used to think he was a naturalist, but he was all into the into their machines. Did Bugenhagen tell you anything? Maybe it's just me, but has this shit been remodeled without me knowing it? All these switches and levers, they kinda get to me. The machines in Cosmo Canyon were presents of Dr. Guest, wrapped up in the planet's strange notion surrounded by Shinra-made machines. Science and the planet lived side by side in that old man's heart. Hurry, hurry, we must go meet Grandfather. Just between you and me, that Bugenhagen used to be a Shinra worker. He never bought any weapons or Mako, though. Hmm, really? Bugenhagen used to work for Shinra? Okay. Talk to Yuffie here. Huh? How would you even know? You don't know how tough it is getting sick on boats and rides. So please just leave me alone. I really do understand, Yuffie. When I get sick on a flight, it's a real killer. When I was in Soldier, I completely forgot about my motion sickness. Oh. Isn't there any way to prevent this? Well, according to my research, first off, if you're nervous a lot, you won't get sick. But you can't always be nervous. With this much space, your best bet is to move around while you're riding. It also might be a good idea to stretch sometimes, too. But in Soldier, we spent a lot of time in trucks. That sucked. And there's one thing you mustn't do when riding, and that is... Read! Once you get sick, there's nothing anyone can do. And I know it's tough. So, you're a little better off than me, but I don't feel... well... Sorry, I made Cloud a little southern there. <laughs> I kind of... Cloud's voice is uh, it's a tricky one for me to do. Uh, we got Learner Pilot level 10. Shall we go? Let's. Alright, cool. Now, before we move, let's head into Rocket Town again. And if we talk to the old man three times... My... my precious rocket, it's gone! Hmm, I know. No matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone. I just can't stop it. Just call it an old man's folly, if you will. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's, kind, it's a kind of hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. Received the Venus Gospel. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. The Venus Gospel is Sid's ultimate weapon. And remember how I was explaining how they have sort of hidden properties to make them stronger? Well, the Venus Gospel, I believe, functions uh, in a very strange way. It's dependent on how much... Let me see, I wrote it down. Its damage is affected by how close your max MP is to your current HP. So, for example, if I haven't used any MP... So, it, right now, it would be dealing pretty significant damage because that bar is almost full. So, I guess basically the the fuller your MP bar is, the better or the more chance... Or it'll do more damage, I think. Alright, now that's all we needed to do. So, let's head over to Cosmo Canyon, which isn't too far away. Uh, I'm just wondering if I can... Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, cool. Keep forgetting I can, I can just run up here. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Cosmo Canyon. I want to try and get as much of this story section done as uh, as quickly as possible. It took me so long to get through these sections. Uh, you know what, let me check something. I think I bought some stuff from you people. No, I didn't. Alright, I'm going to buy a Tiger Fang, Heavy Vulcan. I'm just buying all this just to show you later on. Uh, when I get to it, I'll show off every single weapon all in one go. So, I, because I've got the Flayer now, that's basically the hardest weapon to get. Um, so I'll show off everything once I get to the end. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this part was really... It took a long time to write the guide because I'm sort of adding like my own little story element beats and stuff like what's basically happening and a little bit of my own personal opinion on how the story is progressing because it helps me understand it better. So, yeah. Ho, ho, ho! If you are ever in need of my wisdom, you are always welcome here. Yeah, that's why we came. 
What to do? Have you lost your way? When that happens, we each have to take a good long look at ourselves. There's always something in the deepest reaches of our hearts. Something buried, or something forgotten. Remember it. Whatever that is, must certainly be what you are all looking for. That's easy enough to say, but I can't remember a thing. It must be there. Look harder. You expect me to do that? Let the others do it. <laughs> I was like, Yuffie, you're so annoying. And then Cloud immediately agrees with her. Let me just call everyone on my mobile phone. Uh, do you see it? What is it that you are searching for? Nope, not a thing. Nah, no, can't come up with a thing. Me either, I didn't get any of this. I remember Aerith a lot. N no, not that. You haven't remembered. You haven't forgotten. That's not it. How would you say? Aerith was right there all along. Right by our side. She was so close. We couldn't see her. What Aerith did. The words she left behind. That reminds me. I was the same. As was I. Me too. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth's meteor. But Aerith is gone. Is it impossible for us to carry on what Aerith tried to accomplish? We ain't no ancients, if that's what you mean. What? Uh, hang on, uh... What? Did that girl go off to that place? Th that's it. What's it? We don't know about it. What did Aerith know? Why did she face Sephiroth without running away? I see. She returned there once again, correct? Hmm, perhaps I'll have you take me there. Hmm, Misa, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> You're going to? What's so surprising about that? Even I like to get out from time to time and see the outside world. I wonder what did it. I haven't felt like this in ages. It must be the planet. The planet is calling you. Yeah. Ooh boy. The planet calling. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> um, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, then let's go. Ah, oh, Vincent, you didn't get to say anything there. Um, oh yeah, Bugenhagen, I have one more thing I want to ask you. We're carrying around huge materia. This is pretty delicate stuff and we would like to keep it in a safe place. Oh, 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 then we'll put it upstairs now. Shall we be on our way? I'll teach you how to work the machine. Watch carefully now, you just pull here. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 is this what you call huge materia? This is really rare materia indeed. Materia this rare is certain to have a special consciousness enclosed in it. All right, let's find out about that. Let's uh, pick this red one here, huge materia. It is glowing strangely. Let's get closer. The huge materia emitted a fiery glow. The color is the same as summon materia. Hmm, okay. What about this one? Get closer. Made a, a gentle glow. The color is the same as magic material. Hey, that's a good point. Huge material. It's glowing strangely. Get closer. Uh, huge material emitted a quiet glow. The color is the same as command material. And if you click on this one, huge material. It's glowing strangely. Get closer. The huge material emitted a cold glow. Now, this only happens. Yeah, this next part only happens if you have the Bahamut and Neo Bahamut summon materia. So you get Bahamut uh, towards the end of Temple of the Ancients, right before you fight... I think it's right after you fight the Red Dragon, if memory serves. And you get the Neo Bahamut materia at the beginning of Whirlwind Cave, which is just after Gaia's Cliff. Um, so make sure you have both of those. You should have collected them if you've been following along. Is that Bahamut? 
And if you get both of them, it says Bahamut and Neo Bahamut Materia glows brightly. Ow, my eyes, I did not need this white screen. <laughs> Received Bahamut Zero Materia. And you get a trophy for that probably now ish. There we go. I was getting a little worried there. And now all you have to do is just uh, walk towards one of them and say, go back down. Oh, 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 good. Now let's leave. Do you remember how to use the machine down below? If you ever want to see materia, come here anytime. Yeah, for some reason you can see the materia again later on. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Smells like machinery. I love this smell. Of course, I also love the smell of nature, too. Hmm, the deck's up there? Then I'll be on the deck, just passing the time. I can feel the workings of the planet in the smell of the wind. I also feel the greatness of man's wisdom and the knowledge in the smell of machinery. Well, bye for now. Whee! And he floats away. Alright, beautiful. So we collected Bahamut Zero, which is the... 13th summon? Or is that the last one? No, I think that's the last one. Sorry, the 16th, I guess it would be. If it's the last one, it's the 16th. Let me have a quick peek. Arrange... Alright, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, we have all the summons. Fantastic. Alright, that's going to make life a little bit easier later on. Alright, uh, now we need to go to the deck here. And talk to the pilot again, who is level 11. Yeah, he, the pilot, like, it doesn't seem to really do anything, but they level up, and as they level up, yeah, it, it's kind of, I think it's basically, huh, I never thought about it like that, but it might be a way of telling where you're up to in the game, you know, like if someone who really, really, really knew about this, uh, or about this game would be, uh, you know, if you picked up a save file, it's like, hey, figure out what to do next. <laughs> and you didn't know, you could have probably check the level of the, of the, um, hang on a sec. You could probably check the level of the pilot and you'd be able to figure out where they were up to. Let me just get the choker, but I always forget about this because you don't, uh, you don't take the, no, I don't want to run into a battle. We yoink. Okay, now let's go. So the next area that we have to go to is the Forgotten Capital. So let's do that right now. Should be just enough time to... Uh, let's get rid of that. Shouldn't have any battles. Ah, I love this music. Okay, when you get here... This is... Yes, exactly. So go over here and enter... Oh, well. Are you getting something? You can either enter from here or you can enter from the next one and you'll end up on this side. Give me a moment. And then if you walk here, you can enter into this part. <laughs> the knowledge of the ancients swirling around here is telling me one thing. The planet's in a crisis. A crisis beyond human power or endless time. It says when the time comes, we must search for holy. Holy? Holy. The ultimate white magic. Magic that might stand against Meteor. Perhaps our last hope to save the planet from Meteor. If a soul-seeking holy reaches the planet, it will appear. Ho ho ho! Meteor. Weapon. Everything will disappear. Perhaps even ourselves. E even us? It is up to the planet to decide. What is best for the planet? What is bad for the planet? All that is bad will disappear. That is all. Ho ho ho! I wonder which humans we are. Oh, which... I wonder which we humans are, sorry. <laughs> Search for holy. How do we do it? Speak to the planet. Get the white materia. This will bond the planet to humans. Then speak to the planet. If our wish reaches the planet, the white materia will begin to glow a pale green. 
This is the end. My only friend, the end. Aerith had the white materia. But when Aerith died, it fell from the altar. That's why this is the end. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Kind of appropriate that this was almost this almost released on Christmas. I think this is at the beginning of 2021, but yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Look at this! Alright, this part's interesting, actually. I'll point this out. Ancients writing. Can you read it? It's all Greek to me! <laughs> so, two things. One, that line is not in the original game. Uh, in the original game, he says something else. I can't quite remember what it is. He, it's probably just like it's something like I can't understand it, or that no, I, there's no way I can decipher this. Something like that. But anyway, they made a little joke there. It's all Greek to me. And then uh, I was reading a comment um, that was kind of like talking about this, and they said I don't think this is the link, but um, they said uh, it was the, their link. It was kind of tenuous, but it was like the ancients, so like ancient Greece, and then Greek to me. <laughs> so yeah, kind of interesting. It's all Greek to me. If, you, if you're not aware, that term basically means like, I don't understand anything. It's all Greek to me. Because Greek is, uh, it's probably because Greek is like kind of similar to English. Like they kind of use similar letters, but then there's like, there's a letter that looks like a K that is like an R or something else. I don't know enough about it, but I have a friend who's Greek who would yell at me for getting that wrong. But yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, this is no time for jokes. I'm not an ancient. I can't read this thing. I may be old. But my eyes aren't completely bad yet. Look closely below the writing. There's a note written in chalk. Key in the music box. Now, very, very important. Um, if you didn't collect the item in the submarine uh, in that little alcove, this will say something different. It'll say something like, uh, maybe it's like key where the sun doesn't sh where the sun doesn't shine or something like that. It basically tries to hint at where that key is. But if you did collect it, it will say this key in the music box. It was probably written by a scientist who had been here. He must have used all his energy just to interpret these words. Key? To what? I don't know, but it probably has something to do with our riddle. The riddle. Then it must have something to do with Aerith. What does it mean? Now, I already have the key, so this comes up automatically. That music box over there. We'll put the key in it. I'll go use the key. You all wait here. So that's what it looks like if you don't remember. And watch closely what happens. So this is pretty cool actually. Generally when you get towards the end of a Final Fantasy game this stuff happens. Oh, oh, oh. Some kind of crazy contraption that Square Enix or I guess at the time Squaresoft would have thought of. It's like, oh, let's make... Look at that. Who thinks of that? A music box that moves like that. <laughs> It's insane. <laughs> Only gets crazier though. Okay, so a bunch of water is falling down. Alright. Now, go inside. Hope may be inside, or... This was just a screen to project, project an image. Look, look at the image projected on the screen of the water. I mean, who thinks of this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I think this would work in real life if you had a, a steady, consistent stream of water. It's quite, quite impressive. Aerith, there she is. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't have to really relive the scene. But you'll notice the uh, material that was falling off and out of her hair. So I don't remember if this was if I if this mentioned mentioned earlier, but um, yeah, when we first met Aerith uh, in the uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know if I've said it before, and it's glowing pale green, so it's active. Um, 
when we first met Aerith, she said that she had a materia that was good for nothing. And that was the materia she was referring to. It was a white materia and it was holy. And her plan, I believe, was when she knew about Sephiroth, when she knew about Media, she... I don't know if she knew about her materia, but she, I guess because she knew that she was an ancient, she probably assumed that, that she had some kind of power to help stop Sephiroth. And so she went there, prayed to the ancients, you know, he was saying, speak to the planet, speak to the planet. So she was speaking to the planet and said, please give me the the power that I need. And so they responded, they activated um, the white materia. It, glue, it uh, glowed a pale green and then it was active and ready to use. But Sephiroth got there um, before she could actually use it and, and took her out. So his killing of her, his murder of her was uh, actually quite um, sort of important because if he hadn't done that, we might have been able to beat um, Sephiroth by now. But yeah, it's glowing. Oh, 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 it's pale green. Not just green, but pale green. <laughs> Aerith. Aerith has already prayed for holy. After I gave up the black materia to Sephiroth, Aerith's words came into my dreams. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth. And to do that, there was a secret here. That was holy. That's why she had the white materia. Aerith knew about here and what she had to do. Aerith left us great hope, but it cost her life, her future. I'm sorry, Aerith. I should, should have figured this out sooner. You left without saying a word. It was all so sudden, I, I couldn't think. That's why it took so long for me to find out. But, Aerith? I understand now. Aerith. I'll do the rest. Not I, Dorcas. We! The flower girl gave us a big chance. It'd be sad if we didn't finish it. Oh, that's interesting. I think in my practice file, Sid was actually on the left and Yuffie was on the right. And Sid was the one that said, not I, we. So he's, the lines of dialogue, there's actually quite a lot of lines of dialogue because it even, it doesn't matter just who, who you have in your party, but also in which order they're in. That's very interesting. Thank you, Gareth. Gareth's voice has already reached the planet. Just look at the glow of the white materia. But how about Holy? How come Holy isn't moving? Why? Something's getting in its way him. He's the only one that could do it. Sephiroth, where are you? All right, and you know what? I can't talk to Bugenhagen. I'm going to leave things here and we'll continue next time. For now, I want to thank you all very much for watching episode 99 of Let's Platinum Final Fantasy 7. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.